Okay, if you haven't really ever thought about this idea of creativity or inspiration or any of these things, um, let's just take a minute and break down how or one way it can work. It's not the only way, I guess, but it's the way that makes sense to me. And let's let's look at this in four segments, basically. So we're going to start with inspiration. We're going to move to um, creativity. We're going to move into imagination. And then we're going to move into creation. So how this works is... Um, kind of cool, kind of interesting. And I should have said curiosity instead of creativity, but they kind of go hand in hand to me. So let's start with inspiration. It's something that you wake up with, you you have this idea, you have this thought, maybe in the shower, as you're falling asleep, as you're waking up, or maybe you see something, it's a color, it's a, a magazine, it's something in the store, and you have this pop of, oh, that would be really cool. And then you kind of dismiss it. You're like, eh, whatever, move on. Not for me, not something I do. Make the excuses and move on. That's okay. We'll get to that. So then we have the curiosity phase. And curiosity is where you start asking the questions if you grab onto that piece of inspiration. And those questions are, what if? And how come? And how would? And I wonder... And those are the questions that kind of get your brain going. And those questions lead you into imagination. When you get into imagination, you literally have this huge imagination. You may not have allowed it to run loose lately or in years that happens, but you have it. You have this imagination that you are gifted with and you start rumbling over those questions and sort of going down the road of, well, if that's the what if, and this is the answer, what would be the next step? How could that work? Okay. Hmm. So then you get to creation and that's where you take everything that you had the questions in curiosity and you had the imagination pumping and going and thinking, well, if it was this, then it could be that. So you take creation and what happens is you merge curiosity and imagination together and you watch and see what bubbles up. So those are kind of the four. It's inspiration, curiosity, imagination, and creation. So let's, let's go a little bit deeper. You have an inspired thought. You have something that comes up and you're like, oh, oh, cool. Write it down. Don't let it escape. Write it down. There's this amazing thing that happens between the brain and your hand when you write things down. And when you write them down, it sort of crystallizes that thought in the brain so it doesn't escape as easily. You know how if you need to remember a phone number or you need to remember your grocery list, if you write it down not put it in your phone because it's not the same area of the brain as the fingers and writing, write it down, write the complete thought as fully as possible in anything that bubbles up while you're writing that down. Cause that might also be a part of that inspiration that hasn't quite been revealed yet. Then go into curiosity. So in curiosity, you start asking, what if, what would happen? How come? Maybe. Write those things down right below inspiration. So they're kind of going to tag team and be friends. Then you want to not be fatalistic in curiosity. You don't want to be, yeah, but that could never happen. But no, that's not realistic. That's not really, a, that's not really going to happen. I, I couldn't do that. I don't even know how to do that. Don't go into that fatalistic mindset. Stay in the what if the maybe, the possibility, okay? Then let's jump into imagination. You want to release that fantastic imagination that you have, and you want to begin visualizing those what-if questions, those maybe questions. You want to visualize, well, if I wrote the book, what would the cover be? If I wrote the book, what would it talk about? Think about that. Visualize all those opportunities that could come up, those ideas that could happen. Then you go into creation. And as I said, that's where you merge curiosity 
and imagination together. And that's where you welcome the rest of inspiration. And when you merge those together, you go back and you look at the inspiration, you wrote down, you look at the curiosity with all of those questions, and then you jump into what your imagination told you. And as you merge those together, that's when you come out and start going, I need a little more research here. So let me go back into curiosity. I need a little more thought process here. Let me go back into imagination and see what happens. That's what takes you from imagination to curiosity. Uh, sorry, inspiration to curiosity, to imagination, to creation. I get the eyes confused sometimes because I know what they are, but I don't always remember the right word at the right time. I'm human. It happens. So once you have that framework down, inspiration, curiosity, imagination, and creation, you are on your way to bringing that inspiration, that fleeting thought and idea you had into a reality of purpose. And that purpose, the purpose of that inspiration you had was to change your life. It was to improve your life. It was to bring abundance to your life. And on top of that, it was to bring abundance and inspiration to someone else, maybe to millions of people. You never know. All right. This was um, just a short idea of how this might work. So I am excited to see where you're going to go with this. The first thing, if you don't get anywhere else, once you have that inspired thought, just write it down. And I can tell you, once you have one, you're going to have more. So you might want to grab a journal and write it down and keep writing those inspirations down. Because if you never get to the other three, that's okay. You will get there, but you have to grab the inspiration while it's there and write it down. Okay. I hope you subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, I really hope you hit that like button because that tells me, yeah, you want some more of this. So I will see you in the next video. All right. Have a great day.